Hey, this is Todd. Going to do a quick video about the Storyteller um, modes uh, then how they're available here at Birmingham, Alabama. Um, actually in Hoover, I believe it is. Hoover, Alabama. And I'm here with a few gentlemen. They're going to do some self and tell you a little bit about the Storyteller. Go ahead. Hello, Todd. I'm Michael Smith of Mercedes-Benz of Birmingham. And we like for your experience at Mercedes-Benz of Birmingham with Storyteller to be very unique. When you come in to purchase a van for, from us, we like to go through the entire van from front to back. It's not just the Storyteller portion, but also the Mercedes van itself. Uh, when, when you come in, a delivery for us usually takes anywhere from three to five hours, just depending on how many questions you actually have. Uh, the first hour is usually spent in the front of the van. We go through all the Mercedes features, everything from Distronics, to, to lane assist, everything, the 360 camera, how to pair your phones, the navigation system, everything is in the interior in this quote factory Mercedes. Once we're done with that portion, we then step behind the driver and passenger seat, step into the storyteller portion, and then I go through step by step all the features and benefits and show you all the buttons and switches and dials and explain how everything works. And not claiming I have all the answers or I know everything, but I know people that do. <laughs> I have people on my phone. We are very fortunate. Storyteller's only 15 minutes away. Uh, if I can't answer it or I'm not sure, we'll get one of the Storyteller engineers on the phone and we'll get the answers for you before you leave here and make you very comfortable with what you've got. And I'm sure everybody wants to come here and purchase with you and have a great experience like that. But unfortunately, there's a back order and I believe some people are waiting out to, what is it, June now? Yeah, I'm out till June of 2022. Unfortunately, our inventory, we only receive eight vans per quarter. So it's, it's, they, they sell out very quickly. Yeah. The good thing is coming here and it's local and it is a good experience with you guys and you have hands on, you have some great knowledge um, and you do go through it. So when people come through and they have uh, questions about how to use it, you spend the time with them to do it. Um, just like for instance, if it's a cold day, you could turn on the heater and explain to them and put it on and, and show them how it works, but much less if it was the uh, AC you experienced with them and turn it on for them. Exactly right. So, yeah, so it's a good experience. Anything else you want to tell anybody that's interested in looking for a storyteller of any possible mode that you want to share with them about what you do differently well, here? We, we'd like for people to know that, that, that here at Mercedes-Benz of Birmingham, uh, we, we have a great team, and that means not just in sales, but uh, our, our concierge, uh, our, our, our sales associates, and most of all, our service department. We have the best sprinter service department in the entire United States. There are a lot of vehicles that go through this dealership. We are only one of two sprinter only dealerships in the United States. And we're very proud of that. And we have a great team and our service team is top notch and the best. And, and please understand, even if you didn't buy your Storyteller van or your Mercedes van from Mercedes Benz of Birmingham, we still welcome you and we'll help you any way we can with service. That's awesome. And I experienced that firsthand when I came in for service and that's why I'm back again. Uh, I came in with a little glitch that I wanted to check in. Um, you guys actually gave me a free quarter oil and didn't have anything to sell me, but definitely were help, able to help me and guide me in the right direction I needed to go, which is why I'm back now and I'll come back for my 20,000 mile service. Which brings me to my next little question, which I have another gentleman here from the service department. Go ahead and state your name and tell us a little bit about the uh, service plan. Hey, my name is David Northcutt. I'm a service technician uh, and the sprinter shop foreman here at Mercedes-Benz of Birmingham. I've been with Mercedes for about 20 years, and uh, so most of my experience is just exclusively with Mercedes-Benz throughout my life, and I've uh, uh, been doing strictly Mercedes, Mercedes uh, Sprinters for about seven years, so uh, I know Sprinters pretty much inside and out. I noticed when I came in, it was like, oh yeah, roll right in. I didn't even make it, barely make appointment. Said, yeah, come on in. We'll take care of it, take a look at it, and made me a priority. And and then you guys informed me about the things I also want you to share with us about, which was about the 20,000 mile, because I was at like 12,000, dying for a service. And they said, nope, you don't need it yet, but here's a quarter of oil. Come back, it'll need to add some. So tell us about that. So during that interval between the, th the zero miles and the 20,000 miles, I guess you get the, a gauge that comes off and it says, hey, you need to add a quart and that kind of thing until the 20. Is that what you usually see with the spinners? Sometimes you'll get a, a message that says add oil. Not very often. Um, normally you'll go, the service interval is every 20,000 miles and 
at, at your first service is going to be 20,000 miles and that's going to be an A service. Um, that service here runs about $310 plus however much diesel exhaust fluid it takes. Um, if it's completely empty, it'll take 19 liters. Um, and at 20,000 miles, you're going to need to replace the fuel filter. Uh, that can run about, about 350 bucks. Um, and that's going to be your first service. We change the oil, we reset the service reminder, we check all the tires, the tire pressures, uh, we inspect top to bottom, uh, belts, hoses, fill up the washer fluid, um, uh, we inspect all the chassis and the suspension, um, we hook up the computer, scan it, you know, make sure we try to catch anything that is not perfect and always try to get top-notch service and take good care of you. A lot of people, uh, you know, they spend their whole life saving money for uh, Mercedes-Benz and, you know, we try to deliver that Mercedes-Benz uh, VIP service experience. Absolutely, that's awesome. And you uh, tied into another one, I believe the A service. Let's talk about the B service. You mentioned something about a B service coming up thereafter. Yeah. Uh, what does that entail? What's the biggest difference between the two and the cost difference? Uh, well, the biggest difference is uh, there's, uh, you get everything that we do on an A service, and also we, uh, you're gonna be due for a cabin filter, so we'll change the cabin filter, and uh, at two years, you're gonna be due for a brake fluid flush, um, so you're gonna wanna get that done, and uh, so the, uh, there's additional time involved with the B service because there, we check a lot more things. Um, so the cost for the B service is going to be about 515. And plus uh, the, the DEF, I believe. Plus, and plus the diesel exhaust fluid, that's right. Gotcha. So is there any other additional costs? You said something about some other fluids maybe or anything else? It's just roughly the diesel exhaust? Yeah, okay. that, that's going to be about okay. it. Yeah. Cool. Um, is there anything for maintenance wise you want to share a pro tip with for people to pay attention to? I know there's tire rotations recommended about about every 7,000 um, for the tires and the tire um, weight is listed on the driver's door there. Any other pro tips other than stuff like tire pressure that you recommend people to look at and check and stuff like that? No, uh, the biggest recommendation I can give um, would be if you ever top off your oil or if you ever decide that you want to do a service on it yourself, you want to make sure to use Mercedes approved oil because of the extended drain intervals. You know, you're, you're using the 20,000 miles before you're going to change the oil. So if you use uh, an oil that's not designed for that, it can cause some engine sludging and some issues. So definitely want to make sure you use Mercedes approved oil. And um, so that's one of the biggest things. And also you want to try to avoid fuel stations that use anything above B5 biofuel content, which is 5% biofuel content. Um, so when you pull up to the pump, you see that 5%, 10%, 15%, I think I've seen. Yeah. And, I, and I, I'll be guilty as charged because where I'm going sometimes, we don't have anything but that choice and it's that or run out or go to right. my roto packs on the back. So, but you prefer it and every chance you get, go to the five percenters. Yeah, and if you have to use anything above B5, it's okay. You're just gonna wanna do your oil changes a lot sooner okay because the the biofuel is not going to burn off as good as the pure diesel fuel and it will get past the rings uh, and they'll get down in the crankcase so that's why you want to change your oil sooner gotcha i think i've seen something recently about a fuel filter clean out or something like that is that something you recommend for users or wait for a service and let them do it you normally would never have to clean your fuel filter out but if you do happen to get some water in in your tank you'll get a message on the dash and at that point there's a place to drain the fuel filter you know to get that water out of there excellent yeah. any other good pro tips you want to mention for us out there in story terror land no um i hope you enjoy it because they're they're super nice they're high quality um i hope you have a lot of fun with it and uh, if we see you here at mercedes-benz of birmingham we'll take good care of you Absolutely, and we've enjoyed coming through here, my, myself personally. Um, anything else we want to add in there? I don't want to introduce you to Drew Carmack. Hi, Drew. Good, good. Drew good. is our concierge, and Drew can help you with the Mercedes Me app. 
Absolutely, great. So anything you want to re recommend for people getting their first storyteller and they first uh, dive into it like I did, they open it up or they hit the SOS button and then you get the uh, concierge on the phone and they say, oh yeah, let's walk you through, let's set up your Wi-Fi, da da da. Is that kind of your... That's exactly what I do. So Excellent. I've been with Mercedes for almost four and a half years now. Uh, I've been a concierge for, what, three now of those years almost. Um, and so when it comes to the SOS feature really, or the, the Mercedes Me Connect feature, really it's more or less of having to get it set up is the main problem. And then once you're going through those steps of setting it up, everything should activate you know anywhere between three to five days after you call us and get it activated through your mercedes uh dealership awesome. so that's not something that you can set up by yourself that's something that you actually are going to have to get in contact with a mercedes dealership or rep to for us to be able to get that activated for you that's awesome so what i think i found was uh after i picked mine up had a few miles on it i started toying with it and i opened up the app and i hit it and clicked it and I'm like oh yeah i need to contact Mercedes or exactly. something like that and that was also when I also found I'm getting a little long winded here but I also dived into the uh, warranty um, I started calling around Mercedes and Mercedes sells the warranty of course there's lots of dealerships RV places that sell lots of RVs and sell lots of uh, warranties above and beyond and stuff like that but you guys sell the chassis warranty for what I understand um, and if I remember correctly the hundred thousand extended from thirty six thousand to hundred thousand. I'm generally speaking and asking here. It goes from thirty six thousand to hundred thousand. I think I paid around nine fifty for the additional warranty. I do think I remember, if I remember correctly, them saying there was a warranty that extended it past that. But it goes up huge to go from one hundred twenty thousand miles to one hundred and forty thousand miles, and it was like four thousand dollars instead of nine hundred fifty. Right. So I found the best benefit at that that nine fifty price for an extra hundred thousand miles for total. You know, the factory warranty is three years, thirty six thousand miles, five years, one hundred thousand miles on the powertrain, which is a motor transmission rear end. The only real extended warranty we promote here is we have a bumper to bumper five year, one hundred thousand mile, which means it's basically increasing, you know, your thirty six thousand miles by fifty four, and 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 gives you bumper to bumper coverage for five years, hundred thousand miles. Awesome. And that's and it's nine hundred and fifty dollars. Yep. It used to be eighteen hundred dollars. And then the one above that, you're right, steps up to almost four thousand dollars. Yeah. Pricey, pricey, pricey. Anything else on the me app? Anything else you can offer to concierge? No, that's one uh, one thing that I have to, uh, you know, that app does go down a lot. Um, I'm, I haven't really been familiarizing myself with the Mercedes Me Pro or the Connect side of the vans, but I do know a lot of the older model Mercedes cars, that app does go down. So if it does don't freak out, it's nothing that you guys did. It's strictly just the app having to be reset or updated and it can go back online you know, a day or two afterwards. So if it goes down on you, don't freak out. Uh, it's, it happens temporarily. And some of the benefits I found on there is it tells you uh, not only the miles, miles to your next service, Exactly. Um, it gives you, 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 I think, a piece of your VIN number in there. It, it tells you the status of your yeah, car. And, and that's going to be something that you're one of, going to want to set up with your primary dealership closest to where you get it serviced or basically your house. So when you go on that app, you can actually schedule services uh, on the exact day of when you want to take it, where you want to take it. And then you can just bring it in and they'll have all your information up with your VIN number, name, phone number. And then you can just scroll on in and uh, they'll be able to get you taken care of. Yeah, I found a lot of good uses with that, including being able to lock the car, unlock the car, show the status of it. Um, car, I said car, I keep saying car, it's a van. <laughs> Can't get that confused. Anything else, gentlemen, you've been very helpful. I appreciate it here at Birmingham. Um, it's been great to come all the way out here to even visit you guys, even from Jacksonville, Florida, myself. But it's uh, well worth it for me to come all the way down here to come see these guys and actually get great service. I really appreciate your time, gentlemen. Thank you again. And um, we look forward to everybody else coming Thanks to see the same experience. Thank you, Thank you, sir. Take care. Appreciate it.